Okay, I was going to show you a little secret here. You're uh, to inspect the high side core valve for discoloration. So if the compressor starts burning and getting old and uh, moisture contamination or metal to metal and it starts giving off aluminum shavings and stuff like that, the bottom of the high side valve will be gray. But I went to take it out of here and somebody freaking over tightened it so much, a fucking moron, that um, I can't get it out of here. I mean, they must have used it. They must have put one of the valve core tools in here and then put a wrench on it and crank it down because they thought it was leaking. And the same thing for the low side was stripped. If you look inside, I don't know if you could see inside there. The threads are messed up. The, the, the plastic is broken. Let's see. Can you, uh, maybe you can't see it. Sorry, guys, but it won't focus good in there. And uh, but a dipshit cross-threaded it, and he threaded it down so tight, like they're trying to stop a leak, that uh, they messed up the valve cap. They over-tightened the valve core. I wonder if they did the same thing to uh, the low side too. Fucking hacks, man. Or. Somebody watched a YouTube professor, a do-it-yourself person, and they go, oh, I'm going to do what the guy on YouTube says to do. Oh, shit, yeah. You stupid ass, SOB. Okay, so we had a complete freaking moron, either uh, a moron mechanic or YouTube professor. Uh, get one of these crank down so tight on the valve caps because they think tighter is going to stop a leak. And uh, I can't get those out there. I'll probably break them if I try to get them out and half the towns out. Okay, if we try to replace those, we might break them, not be able to take them out. And you're going to now have to replace a high side line, a low side line. There goes another $500 right there on top of your other stuff because of an idiot who uh, thought that tighter is better. So that's what else I found on this vehicle. Uh, and... The compressor is not fiend. The compressor is making pressure. I filled it up, even though the low side was like 49 and went down to 45. I got the high side to go up to 170, but the low side stayed at 150. So they got the option. Do they want to do a new compressor or do they want to do a new, uh, just the compressor control valve? But I also found a small leak in the evaporator and they were down to 300 and some grams of refrigerant out of their 525. So I think their main option, their, the main problem is the uh, compressor control valve stopped working. The leak out of the evaporator is really small. Maybe they seen some oil around here because if I look around here, everything has dust on it. All around has dust. Everywhere has dust, a layer of dust. But these lines are clean on both sides of the line where the fitting is. There's no dust to be removed down here. The caps were clean. Somebody's fingers were on them. They were over tightened. So this is usually an indicator of someone listening to an idiot on YouTube about tightening your valve caps instead of replacing them. All right. See you on the next one.